Hello fellow humans and welcome to a walkthrough of my train depot hide and seek map. And with no further ado, here we go. Just load this on up. Do, 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 do. Oh, there goes the music. So, here we have the basic starting area, which opens out onto a more detailed starting area. We have a little train station. Um, on the board here, it lets the hiders know to get on board the train. Once they do, I'll set it going. Oh, don't get in the seat. Set the train going. The train will leave. Put the train depot down there for maintenance. We'll drop the uh, hiders off. And then we'll come back in a minute. The board updates automatically. This took a good day or two to get working properly. Oh, looks kind of nice now. And we have a quick tour of this place. It's very basic, but does the job as a starting area. Uh, we have Little stop sign. Can't go any further than that wall for some reason. But I didn't see maps. I've got to have boundaries. Um, if you do play this, I suggest you keep all your uh, hiding and seeking to that side of the tunnel. Uh, just because it's a long way to run to try and find somebody that's run back to the start. Keeps it nice and fair. Um, I need some uh, elevated weight music, don't I? Oh, bloodland trains, they always run three seconds too fast. Um, so now we have it informing the seeker to board the train. So all seekers, they've got about 20 seconds, 30 seconds to get on board. Um, for the train, actually I think it's less than 20 seconds. Um, before the train sets off back. So by this point, all the hiders should have found a spot. But you know, first time on the map you might not find them easily. I won't be revealing too many, maybe one or two on this journey. Off we go. And it's timed just right so that this arrives at the two minute marker. Um, so, let's start with this little area. So, you've got your uh, rails coming right up to the depot. Um, big massive doors to let the trains in through the through the uh, opening <laughs> for maintenance. That's what I was looking for for maintenance. Got a train in there currently under maintenance. Um, a few sparks and stuff added for aesthetics. Uh, you can get underneath and have a look at the trains. You know, as you would, get down here and work on them. Uh, turn the lights on and off if you feel you need lighting. Raised platforms for working on top of the state trains. We have a little storage um, area, and if you choose, you could try and use that to get around up and down. Yeah, not a lot to this area. You might find your own little places to hide. I don't know what that's about. Um. Let's have a look up here. So up here we have a canteen for the workers. Fully equipped with all your uh, food and drink and everything you need. We've got wedge cake. Everyone loves a wedge cake. We've got a set of offices.
we have a little waiting area. And then we've got the boss's room. Here's a nice fancy seat. Um, gamer has joined. Um, <laughs> but we'll just ignore him because this is a walkthrough. Do, do, do. And here we have a nice shower section for the workers to get cleaned off after a hard day. Just letting the gamer know what's happening. We've got a story uh, not storage, a control tower. Sit here and monitor the trains all day. And Yay, there's gamer. Blocked off tunnel there, broken down tunnel here. We have a site outside of the site itself. It's been a little bit of a storm. Knock these trees over. Got a good, good old pond here. If you are playing this on multiplayer, make sure that everybody subscribes to the map, otherwise, only the host will see the water. Uh, it will still function for everybody, but only the host will see it if you're not subscribed. Um, all of this is destructible, and there are hidden secrets. I mean, you can choose to dig and make your own hiding spots, but I think the seeker's soon going to find out where you're hiding. So we leave this little area for the time being. Signal boxes and uh, towers. Over here we have gamers' workshop. Yeah, building engines and maintaining the wheels. Tiny office. Also with a radio. <laughs> we have an abandoned rail car section and container units. Um, container unit on the back of a small train. We see here the game is he's going up the crane which covers this section of the map. It's fully functional you can use it to get on the roof but obviously you start using this people are gonna know where you're going. Bear that in mind. Off he goes. the container unit hiding spots around here if you can find them just a storage area for excess parts and rusted wheels you know that have been taken off old trains and just a general junkyard essentially uh, I'll give away this little hiding spot but you know you can find your own and if we jump over here we can see that. I'm not going to show you up there. You choose to explore that yourself if you choose to play. Um, oh, now we have Kong joining as well. <laughs> now, a little secret under all... Well, not a secret, but a little feature under the map. We have a full sewer system. And I'm not going to do much exploring of this. But as you can see, it's fully fleshed out, you can get it pretty much everywhere, but I always get lost, so uh, next exit I find that I will be getting out. <laughs> this was built by Sant, so he knows his way around, I do not. Uh, there we go. We're back at the crane. Let's go this way. Uh, we have Gamer sneaking through a hole. Is he defending the hole? Looked like he was defending it then. Uh, water tower. And water treatment plant. We have here the diesel generators. Drops, diesel rotary uninterruptible power supplies. 
they're very important. Um, diesel tanks. Normally they're buried underground, but there might be a secret around these ones if you look carefully. We have here a work in progress building site where I say work in progress, I mean like in, in the real world sense, not not like in this game. We won't be doing any more to this. It's being built. Um probably like an office block or something for the for the workers, or maybe they're moving the HQ over here, who knows? Up there we have a blimp. Here's Sans put his trademark on it. That's up in the sky using scrap mechanic magic. A little storeroom for extra crane parts. And the car park. And you can see we've got sewer entrances as well. And we have a little security building. And, uh, you so choose control the barriers you can't get outside with uh, it's all barred off there are ways to get outside but I suggest you avoid them when you're playing because it's a little unfair um, <laughs> gamer seems to have found a horn this is a living quarters for the workers uh, he's enjoying himself there uh, on the lower levels you have bunk beds and basic amenities. On the upper levels, the manager, manager, managerial types, they get a proper full-size bed, television, nice comfy sofa, so, you know, how the rich live, isn't it? Uh, gamers down there, we'll go show you his building. This container crate is the lavatories for those buildings. And there he is. He built all this on his own. It's quite good. It's one of the first things he built in the game, I think. Um, we have little bike storages. So. Oh, he wants me to see something. Let's have a look, just so we can be included in the video, eh? What's that? Oh yeah, that's his annoyance button. There we go. Just turn the lights off and move, the, move them in there. <laughs> but there we have it. Um, just a quick walkthrough. Um, let's pick an arbitrary hiding spot to show you, just so you get an idea. Over here. Let's... let's Okay, let's not because these two are annoying me. No hiding spots for everyone. That's your fault, Kong and Gamer. That's your fault. So there we have it. That's the map. Um, in fact, I'm going to reset this and we might even play a game and record that. 